All right, welcome back to the Farm Cook Kitchen Outdoor Edition. It's raining, it's cold, I don't care. The grill is covered, it's hot, let's cook. Welcome back to the Farm Cook channel. This is the place where you get to eat well, have fun, and hopefully learn lots, especially about low carb and keto cooking. So now let's get ready and make some dinner. All right, earlier we made a beautiful lime, basil, Greek yogurt, uh, green onion uh, dressing marinade. Now we're gonna actually put it to use with some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. All we're gonna do is take these guys that have been pounded out, not to any specific thickness, but just making sure everything is even so that it cooks evenly. Normally when you get chicken from the supermarket or from anywhere, unless you cut it, to a specific thickness, it's going to have a thick end and a thin end. And that means if you cook it to the right temperature on one end, it'll be either undercooked or overcooked on the other. So all I did was pound this out, season it with a little, little salt. Now it's going to go into a zip bag. We're going to dump the marinade over top, mix it around and make sure everybody is in place. And you can see there's a, a lot of green that's in this marinade. Mm. Gosh, that's really, really good. Um, and that's, I, I just used a fair amount of fresh basil in there. I don't think dried basil is going to work anywhere near as well for this kind of a, uh, a marinade. So I poured in, I don't know, maybe half of the volume that was in here. Uh, to make sure that uh, everything gets coated. But that was all that was needed for this amount of chicken. This happened to be three boneless, skinless chicken breasts, probably, I don't know, pound and a half total. I get, um, I do most of my uh, shopping, protein shopping, particularly at Costco. So this happened to be the boneless, skinless chicken breast that they have at, at Costco. Very reasonably priced, um, very reasonable quality. Um, it's just, it's tasty. So everything is getting coated in the marinade. And the, the only thing I'm going to do is roll this out a little bit, make sure all the air is squeezed out, seal it up. And just because I'm a belt and suspenders kind of a guy, I hate it when the marinade leaks from the zip bag. So I'm going to double bag this, throw this in the refrigerator for several hours, take it out probably in half an hour before I'm get ready to throw it onto the grill. At the time that I start the grill to preheat, that's when this is going to come out of the fridge, start to get up to room temperature. Um, it's not going to get all the way there, but I wanted to take a little bit of the chill off before throwing it onto the grill. And that's what is going to be for dinner tonight. And um, because I've got three of these, there's going to be some leftovers that we can turn into a chicken salad or have available as an already cooked protein to put on top of a salad or make into a quesadilla or whatever. Um, but this is going to be awesome. I can't wait. All right. So what we have right now are three boneless, skinless chicken breasts that have been marinating for all afternoon. Took them out about 30 minutes ago, let them warm up, come to room temperature at the same time that I started preheating the grill. Got that nice and toasty, very high temperatures, as high as this will go. Brushed it down, made sure that the grill grates are clean. All we have to do now, get the chicken onto the grates. So what we're going to do is take these chickens and put them smooth side down. So what you want are really nice grill marks. You can get those with a hot grill that's clean. And when you put the skin side down, um, the outside of the chicken breast first, it just um, establishes a great grill mark pattern that you can then build as you go through the cooking process. 
So now we wait. We've got about two and a half minutes before we're going to turn these about 45 degrees. And then we close it back up again, flip them, turn 45 degrees, flip them, they'll be done. It's almost time for dinner. All right, it's now been about two and a half, I don't know, maybe a little more than two and a half minutes. What we're gonna do is check the chicken, see how it's doing, and rotate. So all I'm doing is lifting the chicken up, rotating at 45 degrees, putting it right back down, lid goes down, allows that heat to build up to get that chicken ready for dinner. It's gonna look spectacular and it's gonna taste even better. All right, it's been a little over two and a half minutes, closer to 245. We just initially turned these guys, we're getting ready to flip them now. And hopefully you'll be able to see the nice grill marks that we're able to get after placing these guys on a very hot surface and letting them go. So I'm not sure if you can see those grill marks, but they're building, they're getting there. Now we just have to wait. What we're gonna do is put these on for another two and a half minutes or 245. We'll spin them another 45 degrees and then let them continue cooking for another 245 or so. And at that point, we'll double check with our instant read thermometer to make sure everything's safe and at above 160 or so degrees. Um, and then we'll eat. All right, we're back for the last turn of these chicken breasts. Just gonna loosen them up, turn them 45 degrees. Close things down, another two and a half minutes or so. We'll check with the instant read thermometer just to be sure. Um, but that's typically the amount of time that it takes on this grill with this amount of chicken. So we're almost ready. All right, we're back. It's been about two minutes and I just checked the temperatures for the chicken breast that we have. Two of the three are ready. There was one that was a little bit bigger than the others. He's not quite done yet, but the other two are. And so, you can see the grill marks that are on these guys. They look delicious. The smell is coming off and you can smell the basil. Um, and some of that um, oniony, garlicky quality. These are gonna be really good. That last one needs just a minute or so more. We'll be ready to go. And by the way, for those of you that are interested in seeing how you can optimize your cooking strategies to make sure you're prepared for the week, this is a great way to create a bunch of protein for the week. I only did three chicken breasts because that's what I had available. If you were able to get, say, six or eight chicken breasts, you could do the same marinade, increase the quantities a little bit, cook them all in your grill or in your oven if you wanted to, and you would have a lot of protein available for the entire week. So it is super easy to meal prep with this kind of a setup. So this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait for dinner. All right, we're back. The chicken is done, it's rested for a bit can slice into it and actually see what this looks like. It's beautiful. It's juicy. And I am going to take a little taste just to see. Definitely get the basil, garlic, a little bit of the green onion. Very, very delicious. And even with a pretty quick marinade, the flavor actually gets into um, the chicken. Beautifully flavored, delicious. Give it a shot. Thanks.